Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, of course, and today we're gonna do some pizzas and we're gonna test out the Rock Box from Gosney versus the new Gosney Dome that I just got yesterday and just got this thing set up today. And I'm really, really excited about this pizza oven, guys. So we're gonna tell you what the difference is, what uh, the benefits are of the Gosney Dome versus the Rock Box. But we're gonna also cook a couple pizzas in each of these, so I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Alright guys, so I broke down and bought this uh, rock box from Gosney uh, oh, about a month ago. Um, just because I was, you know, I saw a bunch of posts about them. Uh, people were telling me how great they made pizzas. They were really, really uh, cooked pizzas really fast, and probably the best way to cook a pizza. One of the best portable pizza ovens out there. So I decided to give it a try and do a little review on it for Amazon. And I was really, really surprised at how good this little thing um, makes pizzas. Now, uh, it, it, I also ordered the wood. Um, the wood attachment so you can use in both of these you can use either gas or wood but unfortunately with the rock box the uh, wood uh, option here I didn't have good luck with it it's uh, very small and um, you got to keep feeding this thing wood and it takes a long time for it to get heated up compared to the uh, gas function of the rock box but one of the things I wanted to get with the Gosney Dome is you could actually use both fuels uh, pretty much uh, just as easy. So with this particular model, you have gas on one side and I can use that or I can use the wood on the other side. We just have to rearrange the uh, way it's set up. But you're supposed to be able to make, you know, use the wood option just as easy as if you could with the gas. Now I know gas is always going to be faster and hotter and, and probably you know a little bit easier to work with than the wood, but I wanted the ability to do that when I wanted to. And my first thing with the rock box was wood's really not an option with it. Uh, unless you want to consistently feed little pieces of wood into that uh, little box, um, which wasn't for me. So. Both of these with the gas setup heat up really, really quick. I've had these on for maybe 10 minutes and the Gosney Dome is already set up at 650 and climbing and the rock box is already at 500 degrees. One of the things that really impressed me about the rock box is just how quick, once this thing gets uh, up to temperature, how quick those pizzas cook and literally in less than a minute and a half, maybe two minutes, your pizza's done and ready to go. You just gotta pay attention to it once you put it in there. You can't let it sit in there. You gotta turn it a couple times. But um, for something that uh, is very portable, it's very easy to use, but it, I tell you what, it works. And it puts out a lot of heat and you can burn, you know, I did eight pizzas within a 15, 15 minute uh, time when I had this uh, up and running the first time. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Both of these products are really, really good. I wanted more something that uh, is going to stand alone. So of course this is much more expensive and very limited right now because they've been selling out. As soon as they get these shipped out, they get them on their website, they're, they're gone. So the pre-orders have sold out, they're on back order. I got this from Atlanta Grill Company in Atlanta. They got a limited supply. I was able to grab one uh, just because I've, I've done business with them for a long time. But both of these products are pretty awesome. The uh, Gosney Dome has a digital thermometer here. The Rock Box has an analog right here, but it measures the temperature of the stone, not just the temperature inside uh, the cooking temperature. It measures the temperature of the stone so the rock box is a lot more uh, budget friendly I would say than the uh, Gosney Dome but if you're looking for something that's a little bit bigger the 
uh, Gosney Dome is what you're looking for. Now you can put, I think, two 10 inch pieces in here. The rock box, since it's a smaller profile, I think the biggest you can actually get in there is 11 inches. But like I said, it cooks them within, you know, a couple minutes. So you can bang them out. You can put one in there, have it done in a minute, and put another one in there and just go one right after another. So the speed in which that one uh, cooks pizzas is just amazing. Now this is going to be the first time I've used the Gosney Dome, but I've seen a lot of videos and other uh, comments on it, how, how much, uh, how, how good it is and how quick it is as well. But um, we're going to go ahead and try that out and see, see uh, if it's just as fast or if the rock, spot, rock box is still faster. And we're going to go ahead, I'm going to put my pizzas together and then I'm not going to go through all that boring mess. I'm just going to show you how each one of these does. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, so with the Gosney Dome, uh, pretty much you can buy just the dome itself. This is an extension of the flu. I actually paid $40 for this extension. It usually only comes up to here, but a lot of people online say that if you use just a smaller flu, then a lot of the heat and uh, residue comes out the front and it stains the front. So the longer flu is supposed to make it so it doesn't stain the front of the uh, dome as much as it would if you didn't have the, if you had just a smaller one. The stand does not come with it. it. It's an extra, I think, 200 and some dollars, but it's really, really well built, uh, very easy to put together. I was really surprised at just how well uh, built everything is and how good the packaging was with the dome and even the rock box. You know, the rock box is, you know, a smaller product, but it, everything is really, really well packed, very easy to get set up and get going. And um, I tell you what, uh, both of these, I'm very, very super impressed. I haven't found any issues whatsoever as far as the shipping or the, the packaging or any little uh, anything. When I put the stand together, it went together really super easy. Everything is very, very sturdy and well built, well put together. I don't see any, uh, any kind of issues that you would normally find on a first release thing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get my pizzas put together. And then we're going to just do a quick, see how quick these guys will uh, cook. I'll be back. All right, guys, my cookers are both up to temp. I got my pizzas ready to go. Both of these are over 700 degrees right now. So I have uh, pepperoni and mozzarella and all that. I'm going to go ahead and slide that right into the rock box. And then my daughter requested a white pizza with spinach, mozzarella, and other cheese. So I'm going to slide that right into the dome. Alright, so these shouldn't take very long at all to start cooking. And I'm going to give you a close-up right now on the rock box. I'll try to get them both in the frame so you can see them. Now one of the things I have to do, once this starts cooking really good, I'm going to take this out and turn it. And I like pull it out a little bit, turn about a quarter turn. I'm going to do the same thing in here. All right, come on, baby. This is a little bigger, so I'm gonna have to use my big peel in here. All right, let's try this again. Give it another turn. And this is almost done, you can tell. Look at that. Whew. That's hot, so just one more second. All right, that one's done. Look at that. Shoo. That was quick, guys. Real time here. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to turn this one more time. Now, since the dome is a little bit bigger, it's got more, more heat escapes it. So it's one of the reasons why the rock box can really bang them out. It's a little bit more insulated and the heat really goes to work. So this one is also done. Let's check it out. See, both of these did a really good job. And they cook them really, really quick. So, all right, there's two right there. So, there you go. Comparing the rock box and comparing the rock box and the Gosney Dome. Can't go wrong with either one of them. The rock box, like I said, it's portable, it bangs them out really, really quick. The Gosney Dome is going to be a little bit more flexible and you're going to be able to do a lot more with it as well. So, all right, guys, well, thanks for watching. We're going to go eat these pizzas up and uh, probably put a couple more in here while I got these fired up. But thanks for watching. Check out the Gosney Dome and the Rock Box on Amazon. Links below. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.